everyone! Today I'm going to be using watercolor ground on these wooden jar cutouts. Just in case you don't know what watercolor ground is, it's a type of primer you can paint on just about anything. And it will basically turn whatever you painted into a watercolor paper-like surface. Then you can use watercolor paint on it, and the paint will spread out and combine just like it would on watercolor paper. It's really quite magical. It's amazing. So today we're painting these three wooden jars with watercolor ground in white, transparent, and Mars black. And all of these are by Daniel Smith. This black one was actually damaged in shipping. It's all right. It's okay. It's still usable. And by the way, this video is not sponsored or anything like that. I just really like these products. To begin with, I painted all the pieces, then waited 24 hours for the watercolor ground to cure. They say it takes anywhere from 24 to 48 hours, and 24 seemed to be sufficient. Let's start with the white jar. I wanted to paint a fun rainbow using watercolors. I thought that it would blend so nicely. Except that it did this instead. Undeterred, I decided to draw a little leprechaun gnome guy at the bottom. Then I put a bird on his head. For this part, I decided to use my gouache paint, and I had a lot of fun painting him, and his little buddy too. I also couldn't leave the rainbow like it was, so I went over it with gouache as well. Then I painted the outline and the lid of the jar green. For the jar with the transparent watercolor ground, I painted a little kitty cat as if she was looking in from the other side of the jar. This jar is filled with cat treats and she wants one. For this jar, I used only gouache paint, and I think it turned out quite well. The last wooden jar was painted with the Mars Black watercolor ground. I decided to paint glowing fireflies inside this one. I first added water drops, then yellow watercolor. After that, I used gouache to paint fireflies inside each glowing orb. I really had a lot of fun experimenting with the watercolor ground. 
It's really amazing to be able to use watercolor paints on any surface. Okay, friends, that's all for now. Thanks for watching. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.